let's look at how to create functions in Minecraft. Here I have a Minecraft world and it's pretty empty, there's nothing here, so I'm going to go ahead and show you. First I need to get to the directory that the world is, is saved in. So I'll stop right here and I drop down to a my user directory and in my user directory I need to be able to see the saves so I go and select hidden items in the view and I also want to make sure I show file extensions because I'll need that later. I want to find my app data and inside of app data there is roaming then there's a dot minecraft and inside of dot minecraft there's a saves directory and I want to take it to the functions world that I just created. Inside of the functions world there is this data packs directory and in here is where you can create your data pack to put your functions in. So I'll start by creating a new new folder. So my new folder is going to be called my stuff. All right. After I have a new folder, well, I go inside this new folder and I want to create another new folder. And that we called data. But next to this data folder, inside of the my stuff folder, I want to create this file called a pack.mc meta file. So let's create a text file. And I'll call it pack.mc meta. MC meta. And it might complain and you change it, that's fine. I want to edit this now with a text editor. So I go ahead and edit with, um, you can open it with Notepad or um, anything really. So I'll open it with Notepad and bring that in here. And this file is going to tell us that we are doing a data pack. So in it, I want to start with a open curly brace and then tab in a bit. Another open curly, well, put a quote, type in pack, colon, and then open curly brace, and then tab in a bit, and type in quote, pack, underscore format, and I'll tell it this is six. Put a comma here, tab up to the same place, and then description. And this one is going to be my Minecraft stuff. Doesn't really matter what you call it. And I close that out with a curly brace, a couple of curly braces. And then that, that file is done. So I save it and I can close it. Now I have this thing. I can go into the data directory now. And inside the data directory, I want to create a namespace for my functions. So I will create this folder called Joseph, because that's my name. I'll go into Joseph, and inside of this Joseph folder, I'll create a functions folder. So new folder, functions. And now inside of this folder, I can create my functions. Seems like a lot of steps, but we'll do that. So I'll create this file, a text file right here, and I'll call this one my portal. So I want to create another portal. Portal.mc for Minecraft function. Portal.mc function. So yes. And then I'll go ahead and edit this one with notepad plus our notepad right there and I'm ready to go. There's nothing in this file yet so let's drop back to Minecraft and take a look. So back to the game. If I want to set a block I can set a block with the set block command and for portals you need to have obsidian so I'll do set block and I'll just use the current location and um, obsidian. 
and you can change it so that it's, it's underneath me. So I'll do a minus one right here, and that will be the obsidian block right underneath me. So you can see right now, I'm now staying on an obsidian block. So I can press slash with the up arrow, control A to select it all, control C to copy, and then I want to go and put that into my function. So I'll jump back into that directory, and I will edit this with a notepad. All right, now I can paste this one. So I want to have an obsidian block right here. And, well, the base of my portal needs to have multiple obsidian blocks. So I will um, go ahead and take that. But in functions, you don't have a slash in the beginning. So I copy this. And I paste it four or five times. So this will be the base of the structure. And so I want them to go from negative two all the way to positive two. One, two. And then I want to make sure I have obsidian blocks along the top. So I take this the thing right here, copy it, paste it right there. And then along the top, because the original one is at negative one, I need to have three blocks of climbing up and then a fourth one above it. So I will have a one at negative one, which is be the base in the ground level. Then I'll have one, two, three, and then four. Or I guess zero, one, two, three. So I guess a three. So I put this as a three, 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 and three, and three. So that'll be the one at the top. And then I want the two sides. So I will copy this one, because this one's going to be the negative two side. And it has to go all the way up, so it has to go from um, right there above ground level to one and two. And then I need the other side. Copy that. And this one is going to be the positive twos. So this right here is a function that has a bunch of set block things. You could do more complex functions. But at this point, I should be able to save it. And if I saved everything correctly, it should work. So I'll jump back into Minecraft now. And I have to reload my function. So I do a slash reload. After this point, I should be able to type in slash, and then I type in function, and then you can see there is my namespace and my function name. I hit enter, and I see obsidian appeared here. I look, and I have a full obsidian well, rectangle. So then I want to give myself the flint and steel just to text it out. And I have created a portal. And that's how you create a function in Minecraft.